The step-by-step -step math series presents factoring by grouping with an emphasis on prime factorization. Now the new set of videos um, focuses on prime numbers and prime factorizations. I'll look at those videos first and um, you'll start to understand some of the techniques that I use for this problem. Now, um, what the whole concept is to factor this piece by piece, and one way of doing that is taking the coefficients and breaking it down to prime numbers. Don't know how to do that? Look at the video again on prime factorization. So I know 2 goes into 12 6 times, 2 goes into 6 3 times, and I know 9 is broken down into um, 3 goes into 9 3 times, and 8 is 2 goes into 8, 4, and 2 goes into 4, 2, and then 6, 2 goes into 6, 3 times, no signs, just the coefficients, and then 12, here we bre break down 12 as 2 times 2 times 3, there are 3 factors of A, so I'm going to write out 3 factors of A, and then there's a subtraction. 9 is broken down as 3 times 3. A is broken down to A times A. And then B, there's a subtraction sign. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. A, B square means I have two factors of B. And then, I'm going to get rid of this stuff here. And then the next value is plus 6 is broken down into 2 times 3. And then b cubed means I have 3 factors of b. Okay, so the whole idea is to first do the first two terms. Do the first two terms and factor them. Okay, what's uh, common? Um, between these two terms. Uh, let's see, not a 2, a 3 is common. That's for sure. What else? And two a's. Two factors of a. I can take away, right? So I can factor out a 3a square, right? And what's left over? Oh, we got to look over here. 2 times 2 is 4. Don't forget the A. Subtract 3B. Okay. So, the whole point in doing this is that we need, uh, in factor by grouping, we need to have the same binomial on the other side. So, I'm going to write it out over here. 4A minus 3b. It has to be here. So how do we do that? If we look at the original problem, there's a negative 8ab squared. So if I compare this one with this one, these these two, right, these two terms right here, if I can compare them, uh, what's missing over here? Well, I need a negative 2. I'll write that down over here. Negative 2 because negative 2 times 4 will give me a negative 8. What else is missing? I'm missing um, b square. And let's see. Negative 2b square times 4a will give me negative 8ab square. The key is when you factor the first two terms, this binomial is the key. You take that and you write it out over here. Okay? So if we look at this one more time, you got to say to yourself what's missing. And what's missing here, something something times 4a will give me negative a negative 8ab square, which is this stuff as well. So what's missing? Well, a negative for sure. And I'm also missing a 2 and b squared. 
and then you double check to see if it also multiplies to the other side negative uh, 2b squared times negative 3b gives you positive 6b cubed so now we take each of these binomials which is the same we write it out 4a minus 3b and then what's left over well we got 3a square and we also have this term left over negative 2b square and so is there anything else uh, that we could we look at each term is there anything else that I can pull out no but let's double check the math to see if it's right 4a times 3a square is going to give me 12a cubed and 4a times negative 2b square is going to give me negative 8a b square and negative 3 times 3a square is going to give me negative 9a square b and negative 3 b times negative 2b squared is going to give me positive 6b cubed and is that the same um, problem that I originally got it sure is so what we did here is correct and by doing the um, factoring by grouping and the great thing is that I can multiply it out to double check the work even though these terms are in different orders don't worry about that it's still correct our factoring